To enable the endpoint security using Microsoft Intune, I will visit the Intune admin center, intune.microsoft.com portal. I'm logged in as a global administrator. We'll click on the endpoint security blade on the left. This is the dashboard which shows the status of the devices. I have different options to manage like antivirus, disk encryption, firewall and many more as you see. I will create the different antivirus policies over here. You see antivirus policies, click create policy button. There are different platforms you can choose from Windows, Mac, Linux, Windows Configuration Manager. I'm going with Windows and we'll pick a profile from here that I want to use. We have Defender Update Control, Defender Antivirus, Windows Security Experience. So security app is used to number of security features to configure. It provides uh, the different features, notifications, firewalls, antivirus products and all. I will create a policy related to this. Here I will provide the name for this policy. This is Windows Security Settings. Next, in the Configuration Settings, I want this Temper Protection Devices to be turned on. Disable the Account Protection UI in the Settings app. I do not want the users to see this, so I am enabling it. This user interface will be disabled. So enabling setting means that it will be uh, disabled as the name of the policy is. Disable app browser UI that is also turned on. You need to be careful about these policies where the policy says that it will disable something and you are going to enable it. So of course that means it will disable it. Enabling doesn't mean that it will enable the UI. It will disable it actually. So different UIs have been disabled from the settings app from the user's view that we will see shortly on the enrolled devices, the device enrolled in Intune, Seattle Workstation 1. This is uh, the disable health UI, family UI, enable customized toasts. This policy to display your company name and contact options in the notifications. You can use this setting. So you want to enable it? Yes. You have options not configured, disabled or enabled. I'm going with enabled. Then the company name and phone number will be provided. Company name, Contoso IT. And the phone number finally. You can use this scroll bar from the right and uh, here is the phone number. Now I will click next. The next window is about scope tags. I will go with the default scope for the resources. We will click next. In the assignments, I will add a group. This is for the developers as per the scenario. We'll choose for developer. It's developer, not developers. This is Contoso developer devices. I will include this group for this policy and we'll click next and save it. Well, this was Windows security setting related policies. Windows security experience policy type was used for this. Next, I will create the policy for Defender settings. For this, I will go again to the antivirus and create the policy. This time again, it is for Windows. We'll go with profile and this time it is Microsoft Defender antivirus I'll be going with. From here, I can define the antivirus related settings for the client devices. We'll click create this policy using this template.
Windows Defender Antivirus and will fine tune this template as per my requirements. We'll provide it a friendly name, Microsoft Defender Antivirus Settings. Next, the configuration settings I want to configure for the Intune Enroll devices for the developers. These settings I'll leave as default. I'll go with allow scanning of all downloaded files and attachments allowed. Real time monitoring is also allowed. Check for signatures before running any scan. I also need to configure that. We'll go back to this and configure this check for signatures before running the scan. This is uh, already turned on. This is just to ensure that the allow real time monitoring setting is turned on. Check signatures before running a scan that is also enabled as per the scenarios requirement. Then I need to configure days to retain the cleaned malwares. And this I'm going to configure for 60 days. Network protection, whether I want to configure it, I can decide accordingly. We'll scroll down, can configure any exclusions if required. I'll go with schedule, schedule for quick scan time. I will enable it. Schedule for quick scan time. And this is the 60 minutes. So 60 minutes time means it's 1 a.m. in the morning. If it is 120 minutes, that means 2 a.m. So keep adding 60 minutes for each hour that you want to configure. Then As per the scenario, the other setting I need to configure submit samples consent and save samples automatically. We'll skip this scope, we'll go with the default scope and the group that I want to assign it to is the Contoso developer devices, the same group where we configured those windows experience settings and I will now click next and save this. We have got two policies applied for this group. You can see the policies here, windows defender antivirus and windows security experience related settings. I will go to the device and trigger the synchronization by platform. I will choose the windows device. Seattle Workstation 1 is already enrolled in Intune. If you have missed the videos on enrolling the devices to Intune, then I recommend you to watch this playlist, the previous videos of this series, where I have shown you enrolling the Windows devices, bring your own device, corporate owned devices, Windows or the iPad, iOS operating system device enrollments. Well, I have triggered the synchronization of the security policies on the device. And now I will switch to the device to see these settings in action. First, I will log in to the unenrolled device, the device that is not in, in tune, Seattle uh, client one I will be using. You will notice that Seattle workstation one, two and three are enrolled, but not the Seattle client one. Well, this is my Seattle client one machine and you will notice that uh, here the configured settings in Intune will not take place and that makes sense because the 
setting was settings were not applied to this device because the device is not enrolled here i look for the windows security related settings i search for windows security and click on this windows security app there i see all the settings are available all the uis are there be it account protection or app and browser control device security you will notice that all settings are visible to the users now it is time to test the configuration on the intune enrolled device this is seattle workstation 1 i will log in with the work account here with user rn and uh, actually i reset the password of this user in the previous demonstration of cell service password reset so the password is different let me use the new password and in fact it was not the one the synchronization of the settings will also take some time while the settings will be synchronized so you need to wait for 5 10 or up to 15 minutes for these settings to take place now i will go to the settings app or the windows security here we look for windows security under the windows security app whether we see that ui or not let us open it and you will notice that all the settings are visible it is because the settings have not been applied yet i will trigger the synchronization once again from the settings app from this device itself by going to the settings so you see the settings are there already the i mean default settings are there the intune settings have not taken place i'll go to the start after syncing and will open the windows security once again and this time you see the settings have taken effect 